Here we go. This is what they look like. And then these bonds onto the side of the van, like so. And that's what they look like. So we'll do a video on fitting these and I'll put a link in the description below on where to get these from. We used a company called A to B Conversions up in Leeds who make these. So we'll uh, catch you pretty soon.
So these are what's going to hold the roof rack on and enable it to be removed without having to take the sealing out of the van once it's converted. Got A2 stainless M8 bolt welded to a reinforcement plate which you'll then get welded onto the inside of the roof of the van making it easier just to take the nuts off on the top side of the roof rack and it will all lift off in case it ever needs to be removed at a later date. What have we done? Well, you well, tell the camera. We've welded bolts in for the roof rack so when everything's ply lined and it's got a ceiling in and insulated, we can remove the roof rack without having to faff about taking all the ceiling out to get to the bolts. So they're welded in, sealed up take the roof rack off tomorrow and seal the top side, stop any water getting in, you don't want it raining on your head when you're asleep in a camper van. Nope. Nope. Uh, and now we're ripping an opious amount of racking out and then I think we might um, bulkhead? attack the bulkhead, yeah. Whoa! <laughs> there we Bit wet there. At least it's not on fire like before. Yeah. Yeah, it's still, some of them are still leaking a bit. But once they're sealed on top, they'll be raised. There will be no issues at all. Later on, we're gonna have a campfire. Yeah. So what's the plan with the camper? You don't know. Basically, going for a fixed bed design, shower and toilet cubicle, kitchen with microwave and a, a large fridge with a freezer compartment, and then bench seat that'll turn into a single bed as well. Gonna have big skylight over the bed so we can uh, do a bit of star watching. Maxi fan just where the cab ends so that'll give us forced ventilation. Swivel seats. Swivel seats on the front bench seat. Solar panels. Solar panels, yeah. 660 watt of solar is going on the roof. Don't know how much uh, leisure batteries we're going to put in yet. We'll see what the budget will allow for. Um, sleeping pods, so we can sleep sideways across the van. Because if you don't put the sleeping pods in and attempt to sleep sideways, you can't insulate properly. Then you get cold feet and a cold head, and that, is, that ain't good. Not good at all. So get them in. Window on the sliding door that's opening. Opposite that, we're gonna have a another window that opens got the big roof rack on which you've probably seen in pictures what else getting not next week the week after it's going into my workshop and we're gonna do a bit of body work which i'll film put 
a whole episode together for that. All wrapped aligned, not the full van, just some parts. What else? BF Goodridge All Terrain tyres, they need to get hold of. Yeah. Going for the, uh, what do they call it, swamper look. More just the fact I'm paranoid about getting stuck in a field. So the last thing you want is your camper sunk and stuck. This is a 2008 Crafter. It's got 75,000 miles on the clock. It's not bad. I did want air conditioning and cruise control, but the budget did not allow for that. And trying to find a long wheelbase van in decent condition, not too many miles on it, with cruise control and aircon. Yeah, good. Unless you want to pay 10, 12 grand, you're not going to find anything. We do have to replace one wing. Oh yeah, one wing needs replacing. Bits of bodywork here and there. Bit of paint here and there. But it's nothing we can't do. And some light bulbs. Oh yeah, we've got headlights out. Headlights out. Back. Lens, one of the light lenses is smashed and a indicator lens on a wing mirror. But for the price I paid for it, it's not bad considering the mileage. And it is a pretty tidy van, the cab's tidy. It's one of the tidiest cabs I've seen. Uh, yeah. Just needs a bit of a clean up really, doesn't it? Mm -hmm. and just to recap this video. What was started with is we've stripped out everything on the van. All the interiors come out, the bulkheads come out. We'll give that a good clean out on the inside, ready to treat any rough spots on the floor on the inside. And what else have we done? We've um, done welding on the roof rack. We've welded bolts in to hold the roof rack on. So basically once the ceiling of the van has gone in, we don't have to take that down to get a spanner on the underneath nut. It's all welded in and captive so that roof rack can come on and off as we like without any issues, without any hassle. Yeah. We drove to Leeds to buy sleeping pods to extend the sleeping area of the van. Yeah, make it easier to fit a bed in widthways instead of lengthways on a uh, crafter van. And the last one is, is we did order some windows um from a not to be named manufacturer yet um when they arrived one of them had been smashed in transit so we're now just waiting to see whether the company will rectify the issue if not we will reveal the name of the company and tell you to avoid them basically if they sort it out no issues we will sing their praises we've just got to wait and see what happens and if you carry on after this little segment of the video you'll see a sneak peek of next week's video i'd like to thank you all for watching and if you could hit the rate button like comment subscribe we'll try to reply to all your comments if we can yeah ring the bell and you'll get a notification every time we uh, post a video on youtube anything like that helps us and then um, just want to say thanks for watching again yeah, goodbye thanks.
you scared him? Oh, yeah. he's gonna try and get in now and slobber everywhere. Say hello. <laughs> hello. Get down. 